Welcome back to my Ultimate Doom Builder tutorial series. This is part four. I want to talk about using verticality. Here's our map. I made a couple minor changes off camera. You can see I, I made the building wider and sort of added this alleyway thing kind of up here. In visual mode, this is what we're seeing now. Got our divider texture still there. That looks nice. Uh, but one thing that really stands out so far is everything's just the same level. The floor is just there, the same, everywhere, same height. It's bland. So what I want to do is focus on verticality to make the starting area just look a little better and be a little more engaging. Now I want to stress that this is not planned, this is not scripted. Um, this is just me kind of stream of consciousness creating a UAC tech-based map and saying what's on my mind. Kind of the way I operate when I'm doing this is I'm going to look at an area and say, that looks off, what can I change to make it look better? And what I'm thinking here, you know, this cube thing here is going to be like the entrance into our building. And I think it needs a raised area, like a ledge around it. So I'm going to go back to overhead mode and we're going to draw that in. So control D. I'm focusing on making this 64 wide because that is a really comfortable distance for a player to walk across. Drag that around, right click to end, and now we have a new sector here. Go back to visual mode, take this and drag it up about 64 high using my uh, mouse scroll wheel. And when there's missing textures, you know, this missing texture thing is really useful because it's 64 by 64 blocks. So that's a good way to just judge height. So here's 64, here's 128, that's too tall. We're just gonna go for 64. Then I'm going to shift click to select all those uh, line, line depths with the missing lower texture. And let's see what looks appropriate there. Let's just use uh, this brown, brown 96, I guess. There we go. That matches a little better. We'll align that. Get rid of this grassy thing on the surface. We'll look at our base flats. Use ceiling 5.2. And I think that works. Next thing I'm thinking is this little area back here should change somehow. So I think I'm gonna make this like an overhang or a not, not really closed in, but we're gonna get rid of the sky up here and make this a little lower. So I'm going to go to overhead mode, control D to draw, just drag a line here, right click to end. Take these two guys and maybe, yeah, we'll just bring it down to about here. That looks okay. And then we got to change our ceiling texture. We don't want sky here. So select these two sectors. Take a look at the ceiling. And we'll just use ceiling 5.1 start there and see how it looks. I'm going to copy and paste this over to here and just keep that consistent. And it's failing to auto align. So we're going to grab those two upper unpegged. Now it lines up and I'm going to bring the floor up too a bit. We'll bring this up two ticks. That should be 16 units, which is a comfortable step for the player. You, you're able to step up 24 units, which is three ticks of the mouse wheel. So that's three. Player would still be able to step up that. If I go one more, that's four or 32 units. They no longer can. So we're just gonna leave this at 16 units of difference. Find a lower texture that looks okay. Maybe something metal. I'm gonna use one of the gargoyle switch textures and just make sure the switch isn't visible. So that'll be our step. Actually, this might be a good spot for the concrete for the base, two, three, change the floor to if there's something like kind of gray or concrete looking, do this flat one. How does that look? Mm, I think it's okay. I don't know if I like this now. And just a bronze floor. So I was just thinking this would be cool to get a light. But if I select this, you'll see that in stock Doom 2 format, the upper and lower textures adjust together. So that is actually not gonna work. But work around that, what I'm gonna do is just extend this area here, like so. And then 
like the idea of having this be a lit step. So let's use like metal six. There we go. So now this and this are no longer the same surface. So I can change that height and not mess with up, you know, up there. And that's because, you know, this is the original one and here's the front of the step. Not a form, not an issue with like UDMF where your upper and lowers can be different textures and different offsets. Okay, next thing, uh, this inner area needs to be dark because it is no longer exposed to the sky. You know, it, sometimes if you're changing heights, changing ceiling and floor textures, you might also want to change your brightness. I'm going to grab these two sectors. Uh, they're currently brightness 192. Let's try 144, see how that feels. So just that little lighting change there really makes this pop. And we need to divide our texture here because this transition between the brown one and brick one, big brick one, is pretty jarring. I just follow our trope from before. I'm going to make a 24 line def here. Use support three. Make sure our offsets are set to zero. And I think that works. And then what we might do, um, just for completeness, is do the same thing over here. Don't necessarily need a divider texture here, but I think it'll look a little more cohesive, so we will. There, we'll just copy and paste. Fix our offsets. And since we did that, that's actually a good opportunity to change the texture in here, or change the alignment gonna realign this kind of get that weird seam at the top just hidden auto align and now we kind of have like a I don't know if I'm gonna call it a garage or an alley very very abstract alley that's a start and this area still kind of looks a little bland I'm thinking something needs to change with the ceiling texture up here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that down about 16 units and make this not sky. So we're gonna use floor zero one. See how that looks. Uh, be bad and put a floor texture on a ceiling. And I think that looks okay. A little bright. We're gonna bring that down to, let's try 160 and just dim that a bit. I think that works. And then we need something inoffensive for this upper textures. I wonder if I can just copy those over. I think that works. We'll just stick with that for now. And then I think the last thing I'm going to do for this segment, I'm going to put a couple pillars in these corners. I'm going to go back to overhead mode, control D to draw, and I'm going to create a 24 by 24 box. So you can see that was 32. So I can just go to line diff mode, drag this over one. And we'll do the same thing over here. Now I'm going to hit S to go to sector mode and I'm going to delete these sectors. I actually don't want that to exist. So select that sector, select that sector, hit the delete key and those are gone. C to clear. Now we've got a couple pillars there. I'm going to go ahead and grab all these lines. Make sure they're selected. And we're going to go back to support three for this. So right click, change the middle texture to support three. Zero out the texture offsets. And now we got this nice looking pillar in the corner, you know, kind of holding this canopy thing up. So, and I know I said that was the last thing. I think I changed my mind again. This is starting to look a little short. So I think I'm going to, how do I want to do this? And we're just going to grab these ceilings. and make them just a little taller. Oh, I missed a sector here. I'll drag that up till it matches. And yeah, I think that works. We got lots of brown one everywhere, which is not ideal. So let's see if there's a better texture we can use for the outside of this building. Oh, I think we'll just stick with that. Again, the point here is just uh, adding some verticality in order to make things more interesting. Maybe one more thing we can do. This, this whole area is looking really bland, and this fits in with the idea of verticality. 
just gonna create a UAC crate. So control D to draw. I'm gonna make something that is 128 by 128. Create that sector. Bring that up, 64 units like so. Select all these, change the lower texture to, we're gonna use crate wide. Those are 128 wide. And that's a gray crate. I think that might look better as a tan crate. So we're gonna select those, drag them up 32 units. Set this floor to the appropriate crate top texture. And now we have a little crate here. I wanna angle it. So go back to overhead mode. I'm gonna hit V for vertex mode, select these four vertices. Then I can hit E for edit, and this is gonna allow me to right click and I can like drag and rotate and they will maintain their proportions. When I'm done, I'm gonna hit enter. Yeah, just a cool little trick to make things a little non-orthogonal without really screwing stuff up. So let's see what that looks like in game real quick. F9 to launch crispy. This is starting to look like a Doom level. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on, but you know, it's a start. It's a start. We got our little entrance area. This is obviously where we came from. And uh, next we're gonna need a way to enter this building. So we will tackle that in the next